The difference between electrical functions using mechanical components and those using electronic components and control boards lies in how the electrical energy is utilized, controlled, and executed to perform a task. Electrical components rely simply on high voltage or regulating voltage using a power transformer, running a 115-volt timer that controls the rest of the operation. These are electrical functions using mechanical components. These systems use physical mechanisms, like relays, switches, motors, or solenoids, to control and manipulate electrical energy. The control relies on mechanical movement, such as flipping a switch or engaging a relay. Energy flow is directly influenced by the physical state of components, whether they are open or closed, engaged or disengaged. Often simple and robust but limited in flexibility and precision. Relays are electromechanical switches that control a circuit using a magnetic field. Thermostats use bimetallic strips to make or break electrical contacts based on temperature. Mechanical timers control circuits based on physical gear movement. The advantages, durable and straightforward, operates without complex electronics, less sensitive to electromagnetic interference, disadvantages, slower response time due to mechanical movement, limited programmability or adaptability, bulky and prone to wear over time. Electrical functions using electronic components and control boards. These systems rely on electronic circuits, microcontrollers, or programmable control boards to manipulate and control electrical energy. These controllers are often 24 volts that is being provided by a 24 volt transformer. The difference in electrical systems and electronic systems is the wiring and the voltage as well as component design. Either design has to accomplish the same task, but electronic boards using very small circuits cannot withstand electrical current, so by reducing the amount of power flowing through the circuits, you are able to use small electronic components at a faster speed with better precision. Understanding this will allow you to make a repair with electrical mechanical components when electronics is not an option. When using control boards, the control is achieved using transistors, diodes, microchips, and other electronic components. Processes data and signals with high speed and precision, often using software. Minimal or no physical movement in the system. For example, electronic relays. These use semiconductors instead of moving parts for switching. Thermostats use sensors and microcontrollers to control heating and cooling systems. Programmable logic controllers are industrial control boards for automating machines. Smart devices like appliances with embedded control boards, such as washing machines and smart lights. The advantages, highly accurate and fast response times, compact, lightweight, and efficient. Programmable for complex and adaptive tasks, less prone to mechanical failure since there are no moving parts, Disadvantages, sensitive to voltage fluctuations and environmental factors, can be more expensive to design and repair. Now let me give you an example of low to high voltage. Operations or controllers are low voltage. This will be the part where you choose the function such as temperature, like heat or cold, and the on position. This controller, which uses either small batteries or is powered by a 24 volt transformer, powers up a 24 volt electrical contactor. When the contactor is activated, it connects the input wiring, which is either 120 or 220 volts, to the output section of the contactor powering up your fans and compressor or main device. At this point, all functions are higher voltage. I hope you find this information helpful for future repairs. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tips on EasyFix Plus.